Hi, my name's Lee McQueen. I'm the director of Raw Talent Academy, and we're here today to find budding young talent in the Bristol region. Welcome to the world of Raw Talent Academy. So it is a fun day, but it is a serious day. Keep your eyes on the prize. You will get a job at the end of it if you do well. RSG, who you're going to hear from in a second and effectively, hopefully, be your, your employer by the end of the day, are an outstanding organisation to work for. Essentially, we're one of the largest independent recruitment organisations in the UK. We specialise in a variety of markets from IT and business change through to finance, marketing, HR, procurement. We turn over at the moment about £135 million. Pounds. Um, from 150 staff and that makes us one of the most efficient recruitment businesses in the UK. So we run a very large business from a very low staff level, getting the most productivity out of all our members of staff. It's not about who shouts the loudest today. It's not about who's going to put themselves out there the most, most times. I want to pitch, I want to pitch. It's not about that. It's about contribution. And I'm not going to give you too much advice, but the only advice that I would give you today is make sure that you work hard and you contribute. Raw Talent Academy, my business, has been set up in order for people to be hired based on their talent, based on what you guys can actually bring to the table, bring to the party. It's not about if you've got a degree, it's not about if you've got left school and you've been working for five years, ten years, whatever it is. It's about what, we can, what you guys can bring to the party and what we can measure. And that's what this day is all about. So remember, eyes on the prize, yeah? Contribute. Make sure that you work hard. If anyone watches it, does anyone watch The Apprentice here? Yeah. Right, okay, that's good. Just feel my ego a bit. <laughs> <coughs> um, any, anyone who watches The Apprentice, it's not about backstabbing and all that sort of stuff. It's about making sure that you work together as a unit and as a team. Our team name is Zenith, and the definition for it is uh, the top of what there is. It's the pinnacle, the top of the top of everything. That's our Ooh, first reason. <laughs> and uh, that promotes good attitude. That's a, that's a second reason. And our final reason, reason is the centre of ambition. Um, everyone in here is going to be on a level platform, so we're not going to you know, put all the responsibility on one person. Also teamwork. Um, United sort of stands for everybody being in together. And we all play some sort of team sport. So the fact is we're all quite used to being team players as well because we believe that through our continual persistence we can achieve the three D's of discipline, determination and dedication. Persistence basically means we do not stop until we achieve our goal and, and we also attempt to sort of uh, replicate RSG success but in a smaller group with our persistence as well. Our team name is 3D and that is because that's what we are and it's where we're going. Let me explain. We're all about the discipline, dedication and determination. It's our motto for the day. They had a great idea too. <laughs> We've got lots of different skills and backgrounds and I think three-dimensional really encompasses that. We ran through a series of tasks, five different tasks, which focused on their um, different skills in terms of team, uh, team skills, leadership skills, who's going to be able to sell, who's going to be able to pitch, how they interacted as a, as a unit, as an individuals as well. So each task was uh, carefully planned in order to make sure that, that not only um, that they were assessed effectively, but that the client got out exactly what they needed. In this case, a client's a recruitment uh, client, so, so the, the task had been bespoke around the recruitment functionality of what they would actually need. The first task was sort of a, a selling task which was uh, quite good, a lot of us have got experience in that kind of area so I, I think we all had a bit of fun with that, trying to sell things like a flat football and odd pairs of shoes and bits and pieces. And the second task again, really enjoyable, a little bit more outside the comfort zone so really had to work hard on that one. It's just a lot more intense, it's been up early and then going from one into the next into the following and obviously not knowing people and being in a large group, it's a bit daunting. Uh, yeah, it's been good. Um, the, I've done three tasks so far. Um, the first two were really enjoyable. Um, the third one was quite hard, I've got to say. Um, quite testing. It made you think uh, on your feet. Uh, so it was quite demanding. We only had a couple of minutes um, to do it. But yeah, I still enjoyed it anyway, even though it was quite hard. This is my first interview with Search. Oh, I've had a few telephone based, but it's very, it's very intense. It's quite hard hitting. Um, but they're so diverse that you, you do take a lot away from it. 
Um, I think things are going well. It's definitely been a challenge though this morning. Quite a few tasks have been quite tense. Um, definitely working well on your um, teamwork skills, uh, communication as well, because you've got quite tight time limits to them as well. From each stage, we've uh, you know we've had a few pitfalls, but learned from them, and so we've improved on the next one. It's uh, some good tasks, some of them challenging, but it makes it more enjoyable, more fun like that. For me, it's about putting everybody on a level playing field. We had people here today that have been unemployed. We had people here today that have been working, um, you know, for, straight from school with no qualifications. We had people here today that had graduated from university and had no working experience. So it's a case of putting everybody on a level playing field in, in the mix, effectively, and then seeing what real talent comes to the top, what comes actually to the fore. And that's what I think we've measured, been able to measure today, to go through that entire exercise and work out exactly who's going to be not only um, the best talent in the pool, but also the best talent for the client's business, RSG's business. That's massively important. Through general interviewing skills and CV skills, you can't generally find that out. But what you can do in this process is see exactly what skill set and exactly what talent we've got available to us in order to hire. I think you know we've been surprised in certain areas as well. One of the challenges that RSG were facing is is looking at changing the mould of people that they they type to hire, and in terms of um, bringing them sorts of things uh, attributes out, absolutely, they they they've been surprised with the people that have come out on, on the top today as well. And in a sense of it, would they were very different to maybe what they would normally hire as well. So they've definitely got a mix, and they've definitely got the balance right there as well. I think it's been absolutely outstanding. Um, I have to admit that some of us were slightly uh, nervous about the idea of the tasks um, and wondered how people would react to them, but it really is true that Generation Y really do adapt terribly well to these kind of situations. They immediately go, in, go into scenarios of videoing, of role playing, because they're used to seeing that on TV, so I think it's worked really well. Throughout the, throughout the whole day and in the afternoon, um, in the afternoon task as well, it's been, uh, it's been really refreshing to see people rise to the challenge. That's effectively what the candidates have done today. It went really well. Uh, the presentation went great. Um, I, I think I was on target for the three minutes we had for that. Um, then there were some quite daunting questions. Uh, but I think it all went very well. Managed to answer them all. Uh, they looked happy at the end, but obviously it's fingers crossed now. Don't really know. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a hell of a lot more scary because I didn't want to go to bed last night because then I knew I had to get up and come in. And I was a bit apprehensive and a bit nervous. Very exciting. Um, I've learned a lot more from this than I would any other um, interview that I've experienced so far. Um, yeah, great working with different people. It's quick thinking, exciting, you're fast moving. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's really good, very enjoyable and challenging at the same time. We really put them through it, to be honest. The boardroom aspect of the task was intense. We really put them through it. Um, we had um, the the, situa uh, the the room set up in a situation which was really, really pressure uh, pressurised in order for them to come in. So they wasn't just doing a three minute presentation and having a nice little chin wag. It was about being really professional, putting them under under pressure, and asking them, you know, really tough competency-based questions to go with the competency interviews that we'd already prepared via our vetting process to get to the day. Because it's a private interview process, it was the only chance the candidates had all day to really have a, an individual, uh, or for us to look at them as an individual rather than working as a team and into a unit. And I felt it was really important that each candidate had enough time with the board and myself um, uh, to, to express themselves individually and to really uh, come out of themselves, if you like. So I, f I felt that it would be unfair to film that entire process as well. I feel confident about it. Um, I think they liked it. Well, hopefully they did. And yeah, I, I felt good doing it. Uh, it's been pretty intense, uh, very tired, uh, but it's been a really rewarding day. I've learnt, I've learnt a lot actually about um, the recruitment process and it's been really beneficial. Thank you for your time and patience today, guys. I appreciate it. It's been an exceptionally long day and you've been put through a number of different challenges, put outside your comfort zone on a number of occasions throughout the day. Um, but I'm very pleased to say that we're going to offer all of you guys a job with RSG. Yes! Yes! Oh,
<laughs> it's been a really long day. It's been a really interesting day. It's been an enjoyable day. I think we've put people outside their comfort zone. Um, we've asked people to do things that they're not necessarily comfortable doing. Um, we've challenged people. Um, we've had them one-on-one -on -one, um, all afternoon and really asked some probing questions to get an understanding of exactly what their mindset is. And I think ultimately we've walked out of this process with good quality new talent coming into the organisation and exceptionally motivated talent coming into the organisation with a belief that they're joining the right business for them. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Dream yeah. All in all, I've been fantastic. My clients going home happy. We've got the amount of hires. We've all got new jobs as well. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be travelling back down the M4. Very happy bunnies. <laughs>